Welcome back, guys. It's the 25th of May. I'm just going to spin you around now. So I was watching Steve Seaside's allotment just recently, and uh, he was emphasising to him anyway the importance of growing carrots and having a good quality supply of good quality carrots uh, throughout the year. And uh, even though I've got my carrot tank over there. Uh, it got me thinking watching him, you know, he's on about, uh, he does them in frames and I think he's just done a video about how to build a simple frame and then he uh, covers them with Enviromesh and then obviously once the danger of carrot fly is over, he, I think what he does is he cuts the tops off and he puts a, a plastic uh, cover over the membrane to keep the rain out and then that, that way he stores them right throughout the winter months, just leaves them in the ground and pulls them out when he needs them so it's a great system I really admire it and yeah so anyway it got me thinking with my cold frame so what I'm doing is just as a trial really i um, got some scrap 3b2 here so I'm just kind of making a frame that the the other the cold frame will sit on top of it if you like it'll give me an extra three inch uh, just put in some um, sandy topsoil so I'm going to have to, I haven't got enough, I'll have to go down and uh, later today and get half a dozen bags because I think I'm going to do both of them. And then you can see once I've got it, I can just screed it off, sit the frame back on top. And um, the way I built the frames with these detachable hinges, so the pin, the hinge pin just knocks out and you can remove the lid. And then I just need to figure a way of making a, a little light frame with Enviromesh to sit on the top of that frame and I guess that would uh, be the similar sort of thing to, to Steve's doing. So that's uh, that's what I'm thinking right now anyway. So in the greenhouse I did manage to get my inline drippers. I hope you can see that's very bright in here. I hope you can see them just, just there running from the 13 mil main pipe and then it's 4mm to the dripper and you can adjust them by twisting the top and I just put some, I, add, I ordered some more so I just I put one here in between these two pepper plants and then if we just turn you around uh, I put one each side actually yeah one there and one there and um, yeah they work they work brilliantly if you turn them on at night and just leave them for two or three hours it really does kind of soak in so I was pleased to get that done. Another thing I was doing this morning was uh, just pruning this um, kiwi and if you notice just kind of up there is kind of where the leaders are coming out and what they tend to do is they'll hook up onto that apple tree and then start sort of twining the way in there which I don't want really so I just need to get some uh, get in there and prune those top bits out but what I've been doing is just this one's an example um, you can see here where all the flower buds are so if there was a little shoot coming off all I'm doing is just pruning it back to just above the flowers and uh, yeah I have got another one because this rarely sets any fruit so I bought another one two or three years back I'll, if I just walk around show you under here you see it down there there's the root and uh, it's much bigger leaves than the one than this one you see the difference in the in the leaf size much bigger but I'm hoping that this one eventually when it starts flowering will pollinate this one and then we'll have tons of kiwi fruit which will be just awesome. Yeah so I'm making another frame for the second cold frame to sit on. The battery's just gone on the impact driver so but I'll get it finished today. And actually just want to update you as well on these fig cuttings. So as you can see I've got three growing away nicely. There's no heat, I'm keeping them out of the sun. I don't miss them or anything. I just check the weight of the bag and just give them a little bit of water every now and again. Um, there is actually a bud there and one on this one. I'm not sure there's one that so I don't know whether they'll grow or not, but 
Three's not bad. Um, obviously, I can. I must. <laughs> you must do better, Woody lad. But I will. I will have another go. I think next year. So I've got. I was in Poundland yesterday. Am I allowed to say that? I don't know. Anyway, I uh, found this is exactly the same as what I used for those, um, but it was cheaper. So it, it, was, it was one pound in Poundland. So I bought that for next year. We'll have another go. So I've just nipped down to the micro watches. I'm going to turn around now. These uh, I've been and got some more topsoil for the project up at home. The, frames, carrot frames, but uh, another little job I need to get done is uh, these potted apple trees. Uh, I need to, well I've topped them up actually with some of my homemade compost, see there, uh, but what I want to do is put some mulch down like these little mulch mats here, because um, that soil under there is actually still moist, pull that weed out while I'm there. So I was looking online and you can buy them made out of jute but they're actually quite pricey. So what I've come up with is uh, shredded newspaper. So I've got a whole bag full of shredded newspaper here which um, should really achieve the same objective of locking in the moisture and at the same time keeping it relatively weed free. So all I'm going to do is give it a good soak. The other thing is it means hopefully I won't have to keep watering them as frequently because I'm busy with lots of other things as you know so the least you know the the less time I have to spend sort of on this kind of thing the better really. All right so that's had a good soak and then we're just going to uh, grab a big handful of this and just bong it in, really. Round the top, and then obviously I'm going to soak that as well. Sorry about the jerky camera. Once I've got it in, I'll give that a soak. Like that. <laughs> so, okay, it's not, uh, you know, it doesn't look as pretty as that, but who cares? As long as it does the job, it locks in that moisture and keeps it... Um, relatively weed free, it'll do for me, right I'll bring you back. That's it then, that's the sort of idea, so I think that'll be a lot better. Right guys, back home again and uh, I've just put a bag onto this frame where I'm going to screed it off, but look at the difference between the stuff that I put in this morning, that was out of a you know a new bag, I only bought that uh, I don't know, three, four weeks ago maybe. And then this stuff here. Same company, same store. Uh, also I've been finding, I think that's uh, it's a kind of weed anyway. Couch grass I think. So it pays just to kind of go through it a little bit. It says it's weed free but I mean there's not masses in but I'm just struck by the difference in this is very sandy, which is fine, obviously, because uh, I want it for carrots, primarily. There are some small stones in, but it's just a trial. But yeah, quite interesting, that. Anyway, I'll get on and get it screeded off. Okay, okay, that's uh, reeled that off now. So put the frame back onto there now. That's the next step. That's not bad, that. Not bad at all. So you see it's sat on top of the 3B2, so it just gives me a bit of extra height and um, protects this wood from too much contact. Uh, stop it going rotten, hopefully. So, yeah, I just need to figure out a way of, I don't know whether to just make, put a baton across there and screw the mesh in and then uh, drape it over the sides and then clip it, I don't know, but uh, we'll have to figure out a way of just getting a sheet of environment mesh over the top of that, but uh, I can saw some carrots.
Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot. The other thing I've done today, just uh, while I had the tools out and everything, was uh, make this rudimentary frame just round the asparagus. And uh, every every one's come through. Same down the orchard, uh, all those 20 crowns, they've all come through. So it's really happy days. The two uh, squ little squash that you can just see, I'll just train them up over and then, as I say, they're going to go up. On, and along the trellis there but uh, it just means now that I can top up every year with a bit of inch or so of whatever compost and it it doesn't kind of roll down stays in place so it's been a good day all in all